French pharmaceutical giant Sanofi Pasteur on Friday announced the publication in the medical journal The Lancet detailed results of its first landmark Phase 3 DEN vaccine efficacy study that could pave the way to combating the mosquito-borne virus that sickens millions every year. The late-stage trial involved 10,275 healthy children aged 2 to 14 across five countries in Asia, a region that accounts for over two-thirds of the mosquito-borne disease's global burden. Sanofi had already disclosed in April that its vaccine reduced the incidence of dengue fever by 56% in the Asian study, without giving details. The full findings were published online on Friday in The Lancet. Speaking ahead of the study's publication, Sanofi Pasteur's Head of Research and Development, Dr Nicholas Jackson, described dengue epidemics as a frightening event. If you've ever seen an epidemic of dengue in a hospital, the wards are overflowing. People are literally lying in the corridors. And in some countries, uh, patients are triaged in tents before they're admitted into hospitals. So an epidemic where as many as 1 in 20 people can be affected is a frightening event. Nearly half the world's population is at risk of contracting dengue fever, also known as breakbone fever, because of the severe pain it can cause. The disease infects some 100 million people each year, according to the World Health Organization, and some experts put the number at triple that level. Most patients survive dengue, but it kills an estimated 20,000 people each year, many of them children, and causes one hospitalisation every minute around the globe. The study found that the vaccine reduced the most serious cases of haemorrhagic fever by nearly 90%, which Jackson hailed as a breakthrough in the fight against the disease. So our vaccine will have a significant public health value, given that it, we've shown, in addition to reducing uh, just over half of all disease, We've also shown that we can reduce disease uh, by 88% in the severe form. And this is critically important when you think about the gravity of a severe infection. You can be a child at risk of hospitalization, you can suffer from internal bleeding, uh, organ failure, it's a life-threatening disease. And our results also show that we can reduce hospitalization by two-thirds. But the vaccine offered poor protection to young children, who are most at risk from dengue, and proved notably inefficient in tackling one of the viral disease's four strains. The results suggest the new vaccine acts best as an immune booster for patients with some previous exposure, and therefore may be useful in tropical regions where dengue is common, rather than as a vaccination for travellers. Since there is no vaccine now, that could still make it an important weapon in the fight against dengue.